If you've ever told yourself that men crave sex above all other things, you'll be making a mistake. And today, I'm gonna show you why. Because there's at least six distinct experiences that men crave, like bees crave nectar, that not only do they raise your chances of your relationship, standing the test of time, but they also intensify the fulfillment of the connection when sex actually happens. If you're curious to learn what these experiences are, I'm about to reveal them to you on my video today. Listen, there's gonna be tons of guys who connect with you and they lead with sex. They go right for that. They don't even wait to see who you are or ask you questions. They just want to get that going. But I'm here to contend that even those guys who seemingly show only going for sex seek something deeper. Now, I don't mean to say that you should entertain them. You can simply say no thanks and move on. But there's going to be another section of men who crave something deeper from the get-go, who aren't the type of guy who wants a life of meaning and fulfillment and service and generosity and life. And you understanding what are his deepest cravings and how you can offer them through your being without having to try super hard, without having to connect with them sexually, when you're not sure who they are, when they haven't earned it emotionally, when it's too risky for you, really makes a difference. So what I will share with you today is gonna be six experiences that you can facilitate, inspire, express through who you are and how you do things that will connect you with a man much more strongly than if you have sex with them. So by the time you do decide to have sex, whenever that is, the connection is much stronger and there's a foundation that makes it far less likely that it's going to be a one-off and then it stopped happening or that he's going to ghost you or that he's going to disengage or fear losing freedom. By the time you have that experience, it's much more meaningful to both of you. Now, the first experience that men crave more deeply than sex is the experience of being alive. And here's the best of news for you. This isn't something you do, it's something that you are. So who you are expressed through your being creates that feeling, punch me in the heart and the gut and the head and my entire being all at the same time that I want more of the presence that you bring to the table. Joseph Campbell once said that people say that what we're all seeking is a meaning for life. I don't think that's what we seek. What we're really seeking is an experience of being alive. And I couldn't agree more with this, especially as it relates to the way men connect with you. So how can you translate this into a very specific practical experience? It's not that you have to show up a certain way, is that if you connect with your own self, with your own life, with your own passions, with your own meanings, with your own body movement in such a way that who you are is more unfiltered. It's not that you have to turn into someone you're not, it's that you have to let go of the filters that prevent you from shining brightly. When you shine brightly, I see you, I feel you, I experience you, I want more of you. Why? It's human nature. There's something you bring to the table that I cannot create on my own, and when you show up so radiantly, it makes a huge difference in my life. It creates inspiration for me. If you ever go back throughout any point in human history and you identify what a muse is, a muse is someone who is full of life and connected to her life force and inspires the most creative, the most beautiful, the most poetic art. Second experience that men deeply crave more than sex is the emotional expression of who they are without shame. Now, Brenda Brown talks a lot about this. At its most basic essence, shame is the fear of being unlovable. So simple, such a simple definition. So if you think about the way men operate, we have been trained for so many years, for so many centuries, to be more stoic, to be less expressive, to push things down, to not let our emotions show through. That that is weakness, that vulnerability is weakness. Men are deeply craving, now more than ever, because it's been centuries of this bullshit, to be expressed in a way that's healthy, to be expressed in a way where our hearts can shine. The thing you can do if you want for this to take place is the ability to hold space for someone, the ability to ask great questions, the ability to stand in front of someone and not judging him based on every other guy you've connected with, but based on who he is, what he's bringing to the table. When you connect and your heart connects and you can sense his center of integrity, and the way he shows up is the way you act based on the way that your past is, based on the way previous men have acted, based on the way 
your parents acted, then you give him a real shot of learning that it is safe for him to show himself emotionally, which creates the thing we all seek in this day and age, which is emotional intimacy. Third thing that men really feel a need more deeply in sex is the feeling of genuine admiration from a woman they find worthy. If he finds you worthy, he's going to seek your admiration. If you seek through history, there's always this hero archetype. And the hero archetype is full of different virtues. There's courage and determination and self-sacrifice. And if a guy is showing up with those values, he's going to want to seek the reflection of those values in the woman he's connected with, in the woman he wants in his life, in the woman he loves. So the generosity of your expression, the generosity of you sensing who he is, what he brings to the table, how he self-sacrifices for the benefit of not just himself, but others makes a huge difference for him. Many women feel this, but don't share it. Many women experience this, but feel if I were to share this with him, he'd have one up on me. I think that being able to take a risk when you connect with someone that you see some of this heroic archetype virtues is showing them to him. Now, there's one more virtue that I think in this day and age needs to be part of the mix because the hero archetype includes all this strong courage, determination, values, but there's one more, which is kindness. And when guys show up with kindness, when they show up with compassion, grouping those into this archetype that even though it exists, it's not the most talked about, I think that matters because you help retrain in his nervous system when I show up this way, which is not to impress you, but I find this admirable. I find this compelling. I find this as something that I feel safe in your presence. When you can share that with a man, the safety he genuinely creates in your presence, it creates a stronger bond and it creates a multi-explosion of sorts inside his being that wants him to continue doing it for you. The fourth thing that men crave more than sex is the freedom to be free fully seen, to be fully witnessed. Why? Because here's the thing, if they're going to start showing up more of who they are, then that freedom, not of freedom, I do what I want with whom I want, whenever I want, but the freedom of I can be seen by you. I can be appreciated by you. I can be witnessed by you. I matter. I lived here. If you've ever seen in any bathroom stall, John was here or Jackie was here. There's this natural sense of human beings to mark in some way. I exist. I matter. I lived. I made a dent in the little fabric of my experience here in life on earth. Gandhi talked about this. He said, freedom is not worth having if it doesn't include the freedom to make mistakes. So what does that mean? That means that we men have learned that our value is derived strictly from what we produce. That the value is produced from executing. And executing typically means flawlessly. No mistakes, no excuses. But when there's that freedom to make mistakes as we're learning, the freedom to be vulnerable, the freedom to express. We're not clear, but it's okay to express as we start figuring out things, what we are, what we think about. That is a deeper sense of freedom than the freedom of I can do what I want with whom I want for some men. Now, before I share my last two needs, which are incredibly helpful to understand. If you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you are not fully aware or not aware at all of the true reason you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of challenging environment that you can imagine and help these women to create meaningful connections that stand the test of time, including marriages and life partnerships. And I've gotten all those learnings put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions. And within 60 seconds, you're going to have two things. Answer to the elusive question, why you're still single. And a custom report that's going to share based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The next need, next experience he has that he craves more than sex is the enjoyment in your face, the fulfillment in your face of what he brings to the tape, the joy that you have derived from what he offers you, from his value. His value is not just a food he's putting on the table, metaphorically speaking, but what his presence brings to you what his grounded stance brings to you, what his protection of your heart brings to you, what his wanting to make your life easier or better matters to you. Nelson Mandela once said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, it's what difference we have made to the lives of others that we will determine the significance of the life we lead. So many men have this hidden value and virtue of wanting to make things better. Being fixers by nature, that's what it's all about. He wants to be your hero. 
He wants to add value. He wants to show that. So if he's doing that, be clear. I know that it's easy sometimes to just talk about what's not working, reinforce what he's doing right. He's going to be 20 times more likely to continue doing it. The last of the six experiences men need is your consistent choice of him. So here's what it requires. It requires you living a full life. It requires you being bright and shiny and expressive and doing what you love in such a way that despite all those things and all the choices you have, including multiple choices of men, you continue choosing him. It's not just a random thing. It's not just because, eh, you got together once, but now things have changed. It's that every single day, in spite of all the amazing abundance in your life, he is the guy you choose. Hope this is helpful and useful and insightful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and my channel, because this is the only way I can reach more women. If you click like and subscribe, and if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want, without the need for gimmick, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.